As stores struggle to keep hand sanitizer on the shelves, first responders in hospitals are now relying on a distillery on the south side to supply it. WVTM 13's Bria Douglas explains how the distillery is stepping up during this time of crisis for those who need it most. At Dread River Distillery, serving up drinks is off the menu. Business-wise, we're struggling like everybody else. Here we go. Instead, they're serving people another way by making hand sanitizer. I think we're in a place where a lot of us are doing things that we didn't anticipate having to do before. Alcohol is used for hand sanitizer, something co-owner John Kubelik's distillery obviously keeps on tap. What we're doing basically now is taking the high concentration of alcohol that we would normally be throwing away and we're using that as a product that we can then distribute to the community as a hand sanitizer. This is where the bodily making process starts. From here, it gets poured out and bottled up for anyone who needs it. We've been inundated with calls. We had no idea that the need was as drastic as it is. And so more recently, we've been focused on trying to service some of the hospitals locally, some of the emergency services, fire departments, police departments, sheriff stations, things like that, because those are the people who are on the front line of, of everything that we're facing right now. Kubelik estimates his company's distributed 50 free 32 ounce spray bottles of hand sanitizer, an endeavor he's decided not to cash in on during the virus outbreak. We thought we would do a, a public service for the community and say, hey, if this is something that you can't get at the store, we have your back on this. A company unexpectedly providing sanitizer and spirits. In Birmingham, Bria Douglas, WVTM 13. And Dread River Distillery is thankful for the community donating bottles for that hand sanitizer.